made to Odibo, Shifensi family. Now is what is called the Bajulaye kingship. That's where I came from. So I'm a proper Lagosian. That's my father's side. Then from my mother's side, it's called Eletu Iwashe. Because we all need to know our history so that these non entities, this imbecile, this moronic, nomadic, idiotic, useless human beings will not come into our land and start to dictate. And just in case any one of you may not know, the Fulanis are less than 10 even 1% of who we are in Nigeria. They are less than 3 million. And population is telling us we are 200. In other words, the Fulani, this egregious hegemony of the Fulani people are less than 1% in our country. And these idiotic people, with the help of the British, Britain, if you're hearing me, you are put on notice. You are not going to get away with it. You have, you have gone a long time. And your useless contraption called Amalgamation of 1914 is already null and void. As at yesterday, it was seven years overdue. Any treaty more than 100 years is overdue. And you have not called us, you have not asked your stooge, the Fulanis, to come to the table. They don't want to judge you. They want war war. They haven't seen anything yet. They will know what we are made of. The Bahafrans and the Yoruba nation, we are not going to take it anymore. The yeah. end has come. Yeah. 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 From my research, I learned that the Igbo people have been even in that in the area in the, since the 13th century. Yes. I also learned, in case you don't know, the Igbos come from Eri. Mm -hmm. Eri happens to be the grandson of God. God happens to be the seventh son of Israel, of Jacob, in the Bible. Yes. So if these people have been existing for that long, where did this useless fool have come to come and tell them how to rule their land? How to rule their resources? They, take over. they are not going to take over. We will not. Maybe we have all been soft, including the Yoruba nation. We have all been soft because we are real, humane people. When I look at the Yoruba, because I come from them, my grandfather used to house some of these useless people called Fulanis and houses. We give them money, we give them food. And then they want to turn around and bite the finger that fed them. <laughs> and I'm saying no. Not on our watch. I'm going to be 65 years in another three months. I don't want to end this contraption to my grandchildren. I also know that neighbors are the smartest in Nigeria. I did my research. <laughs> that's, what, that's what the research says. And if they have been that long, managing their resources, enterprising, nobody should dictate to them in the 21st century how to run their life. Now to come to the Yoruba people. I know my people are educated. They are sophisticated. They are very cultured. And sometimes the nasty is not because they are, they, they are weak. But when you are a human being, you want to treat, that's what the Bible tells us. That's what Jesus said. He said, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And then they asked him, what is the next commandment? He said, love your neighbor as yourself. The universe have been too accommodating. They allow foreigners everywhere to come because they believe what is good for me should also be good for my neighbor. For people around me. And they allow them to come. But it's a shame that right now, the universe don't even have a nation. They don't have themselves. The full and easy override everything that they are doing. Why are we exiting? Why is that going to be a Yoruba nation exiting? Right now as we are speaking, a master degree holder as a Yoruba does not have a job in Nigeria. But an Awusa, a full and man who went to high, uh, ordinary high school or Elementary school of primary two is now a commissioner, is now a director. How? Oh, I don't know if any one of you have read George Orwell, 1984. Animal farm. We are animal farm. Animals are dictating to human beings. That is what we have right now in that contraption called Nigeria. And the so-called 1940 amalgamation, which Lord Lugard in his impunity had to tell. The northern protectorate, which consists of the of the houses, and the southern protectorate, which consists of the southeast, the southwest, the south south, and the middle belt, they call us southern 
protection. Meanwhile, we have been doing our own thing, mm. having our own governance, ruling our own people, issuing orders, enterprises, and we are rich. We all know about Oferami of Bini. The kingdom is extremely rich. They have been doing transactions with these British people because they have the insanity to come to, to, Nigeria, to so called Nigeria and name our, our individual nations. Join us together and call us Nigeria. How did they come across Nigeria? I don't know about you. There is no nation in Nigeria that can explain what Nigeria is. Niger area. Yes. The Niger River. We have two rivers in that country called River Benue on the west and River Niger on the east side. This Lord Lugard, a man that is rotting in his, in, 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 in his grave, named us Nigeria. And when you know the word nigger, which is an aberration word that the use of blacks in general in this country, you will know that it's not a palatable name mm -hmm. to be called. We are not nigger. We are respectable, civilized, cultured, enterprising, successful people. But the evils.